वेलकम टू पावर प्लेटफॉर्म ए आई बिल्डर सीरीज माई सेल्फ ध्रुविन शाह ड्यूरिंग दिस एंटायर सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट ऑफ ए आई बिल्डर विच इज द प्रिडिक्शन मॉडल सो नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग दिस एंटायर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द फॉलोइंग थिंग्स आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस एंटायर सीरीज इन टू फोर डिफरेंट पार्ट्स सो नाउ लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू information about each of the part of this series during the first session or a first part of the series we are going to talk about overview of prediction model with that we will be discussing about the real life example which can be used for the prediction model and discussing how prediction model will help you for your business data during the second session we are going to start to prepare the cds model for the prediction in the third session we will be talking about uh, how we can build prediction ai model and we can train and publish our prediction model and at last we will be consuming our prediction ai model to power apps using power automate so now let's get started with our first session or a first part of this series that is the overview of prediction the first question arise in your mind that what do you mean by prediction ai model what is prediction and how it is useful for our organization data in a simple word i can say that predict means to forecast or guess something suppose in your organization you have some historical data which may follow some pattern and based on that historical data you want to predict something you want to predict some future out future outcome at that time this prediction is something which would be very helpful now in ai builder prediction model analyze the yes no patterns from your historical data automatically and based on the past result prediction model detects the learned pattern in the new data to predict the future outcome so in a sense i can say in a simple word in a simple word i can say that power apps ai builder automatically detect the historical pattern from our data and based on that it will try to predict the future data now let me explain you real life business case where this prediction model can be useful consider an example for one of the movie theater in the city they have collected a data for last one year with each date representing if a person will go for a movie or not they have recorded following pattern for the historical data so basically uh, in this example this is the raw data for the theater that they were capturing for so you can see here they have captured each individual date throughout the year they have also take one column holiday whether uh, on this particular day whether there is a holiday public holiday or not so uh, one means yes there is a public holiday and zero means there is no public holiday they are also capturing the weekday so uh, let's say zero means sunday one means monday and six means saturday so they are they are capturing this weekday as well now they have one more column that is working day means that this particular day is a week day and if it is a working day so they are capturing that with the one and zero means that is the no working day so let's say for an example this is my public holiday still it's a week day but people are not working on the day due to public holiday so it is capturing with zero zero means not working day one means working day right now they have defined one column go for a movie means they are uh, adding the possibility over here so uh, this is the historical data so they have observed this patterns over here holiday weekday working day based on this pattern uh, they have this type of data already in the past like they have observed that most of if there is a holiday then people are sure to go for a movie and if uh, there, there is a weekday then uh, they are not going to watch for a movie and maybe if the weekday number is 5 then um, uh, a weekday is friday then people will probably go for a movie so this type of observation they have observed here 
so they added that in the go for a movie section so let's say uh, here uh, there is a holiday there is a working day and there is no weekday so they will go for a movie now let's say one means go for a movie now let's say here is a weekday number 5 that is the friday most of friday is a movie release day so there is a possibility that people will go for a movie who are a fan of a first day first show so yeah there is a probability so uh, they they have added as a two now let's say there is some weekday and there is not even a public holiday so there is a less possibility or no no possibility that they will not go for a movie so they added that as a three so uh, this is the data set which is throughout the entire year they captured and based on this model they want to predict the future outcome right now during this session what we will do is I have taken an example of power apps let me play you this demo for you so let's say for an example uh, I have one app where people will enter the future date any future date over here and they will select a public holiday or not and click on get my prediction so based on power apps AI model it will predict our prediction that people will go for a movie on this day now let's say if people is selecting any of the weekday and they click on get my prediction at that time AI model automatically detect and uh, give us this type of prediction to us similarly uh, let's say if there is any public holiday and people will click on get my prediction at that time also uh, it will show that uh, the people will probably go for a movie so this is the entire thing that we are going to cover throughout the session now before we start now before we move further and building our cds model we need to consider few things for our prediction ai model and our raw data so let me explain you this thing one by one the first thing is that to use this prediction our data must be reside in the cds model second thing your administrator has assigned you a security role with the privileges over your data. Third thing, you at least have 10 record of historical outcome for each label data field. What do you mean by this term? Here I have shown you this example. Now you can see that we have, have different labels over here. Let's say for an example, go for a movie means outcome are 3, 1, 2 and 3. So for each individual label, there should be 10 historical data. It means by that. It doesn't mean that, let's say if you have probably outcome and you have only 5 sample record for it. It should have minimum 10 records for each individual label data fields. Right? Now, at last, minimum 50 records required to train. If more than 1000 record, then the result would be better. Yep. So these are the four consideration points that we need to consider before we build our CDS model. Now in the next session we are going to talk about how we can start to build the CDS data model for our raw data. So stay connected with me for my next session. Hope this is clear for you now. If you have any question related to this topic you can email me at dhruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can whatsapp me on plus 919537981467 stay connected with me on all social media platforms like facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification on my whatsapp number just click on this link this will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving the daily notification on my whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye